from Wizard World's Comic Con, where Whovians, Shrekers peacefully coexist. It's time to find out who will be the last man standing. Say hello to Mr. Fancy Pants, Bruce and Campbell. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on. Hello. Give it up. Come on now. Give it up. Let's do it. Do it to it. Let's go. All right. All right, all right. Welcome. Welcome, fans, to the show where your knowledge of popular culture can win you cold, hard cash. Finally. Not a lot. <laughs> but more importantly, the respect of your fellow fanboys and fangirls. We've chosen four contestants here that they know, obviously, a little bit about sci-fi, horror, fantasy, superheroes. But only one of them can be the last fan standing. So let's get right to it. For the first round of questions worth 10 points each. Here we go. Are you guys ready? ready. Yep. Are you alert? Oh, yeah. Have you eaten your lunch today? No. Yes. You're screwed. OK, yes. that's fine. <laughs> Name the bounty hunter shot by Han Solo in Star Wars A New Hope. Uh, that looks like Mike. Greedo. Greedo's correct. Good start. <laughs> First one on the board. <laughs> In the original Final Destination, most of the main characters meet horrible individual deaths after avoiding what horrible death? Group death. Uh, yes. Plane crash. That's correct. Well done. Uh, Cody's on the board. Cody, where are you from? I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge. What do you? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, tell me, does your family tree fork? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Took you a while. <laughs> All righty. What do you do, to do down there, over there, I near there? I fix broken computers, networks, printers. I'm an IT. Wow, IT guy. Yes, sir. None of these people use computers here. <laughs> <laughs> they keep me employed. Right, good. They keep me employed, too. <laughs> I like that. All right. Next question. What is the name of the robotic race in Battlestar Black. Uh, that would be Alan. Cylons. The Cylons is correct. Alan's on the board. <laughs> Nicely done. Alan, where are you from? Thibodeau. Thibodeau? Thibodeau, yeah. Gesundheit. Gesund um, Thank you. <laughs> what keeps you busy there? Uh, I'm an operator. Uh, I load oil off of uh, barges and trains. Yeah! yeah. Do you load <laughs> And uh, do you do it looking like that, or is that this? No, is this is actually my casual gear. I usually have a much larger haired style. Do you? I see. Yeah. I'm frightened for your entire family. But welcome to the show. Thank you. Next question. Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot is the owner of the Iceberg Lounge in the DC Modern Age Comics. By what other name has he always been known? OK. Cody. Penguin. That's correct. <laughs> Cody's ripping it up. In the game Assassin's Creed, who are the assassins squared off against? Yes, Al. Templars. Or? The Knights Templars. Yes, very good. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. This is a little easy lob. Some of these are easy. What planet is Superman from? Uh, uh, I guess that's Mike. Yeah, yeah. Krypton. Krypton. And uh, don't break our machinery. <laughs> All right. I haven't spoken with you yet. Where are you from? From Lafayette. Lafayette. Oh, really? <laughs> now, why are they clapping? Because Lafayette's awesome. Is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. What is Lafayette known for? Uh, middle of Cajun country, crawfish, dancing, having a good time. Arterial sclerosis, that a little sort of bit thing? Of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Dance it off. Welcome to the show. <laughs> All right. British Army nurse Claire Randall is the heroine of a series of books and now a television show featuring plenty of romance and time travel. What is the show, and Claire, for that matter, known as? Oh. You sure it isn't legitimate? <laughs> we do need a girl up there. Believe me, I got to look at these jerks. <laughs> hey. Do you guys, anybody know? Does anybody uh, know? No. I'm mulligan on this one. Okay, I'm going to throw this out to the audience. Outlander is correct. Thank you for being smarter uh -huh. than the people who outsmarted you. I'm out of here. <laughs> Nicely done. And I have a hunch with this group, you guys are going to be busy. Here we go. 
where was the science fiction series Space 1999 set? Where was it set? Where did it take place? Yes. Earth. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> uh, anybody else want to care to try? Uh, yes. Space. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't uh, give points for being a smart ass. <laughs> That's my job. Um, anybody else? Okay, oh, folks. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Jeez. It's always the guys in the back. Apparently. No. All right. Well, you guys are starting to suck. Damn. <laughs> no problems. Name the vicious three-headed dog that Hagrid provides to Hogwarts to guard the Sorcerer's Stone. Yes, Justin? Uh, Fluffy, and it's a Cerberus. Nicely done. And welcome, welcome to the game. Welcome to the board. You are now a man among men. Where are you from, Justin? Lumberton, Mississippi. Lumberton, Mississippi. Let me guess, what did they used to do in that town? Lumberton, Mississippi. Lumber Town, huh, I couldn't, couldn't tell you. You tell me, what, did, what do you do there? Uh, me personally, uh, I'm a uh, food service administrator. Why did it take you so long to figure that out? <laughs> <laughs> you just make that well, up? Well, I wasn't sure you. if you meant me personally or what the town does, which well, what, is not much of anything. A food service administrator, what do your fellow employees call you? Boss. I like it. <laughs> Very good, welcome to the game. Fluffy got you on the board. Awesome. What is the Sorcerer's Stone known as in the original British publication of the first Harry Potter. Yes, Alan? Philosopher's Stone. That's correct. Well done, sir. Uh, I think that's, is that a weird noise? Yes. Yes, that's a weird noise. Every time I hear a weird noise, I have to do something different. So I'm going to do something. That sound means that we have reached our first speed round, which will be fun, exciting, and spell ultimate doom for the contestant who finishes in fourth place. <laughs> Three of you are going to lose. That's all right. Damn. Our category is Super IDs, in which I'll give you the names by which comic book heroes rub elbows with us mere mortals, and you'll give me their super identities. You have 90 seconds to grab the points you can, but each question now is worth 20 points. Good luck. Speed round. Matt Murdock. Uh, yes, that's Alan. Daredevil. Daredevil's correct. 20. Alan's pulling away, he's pulling away. He's thinking he's got this nailed. How quickly I, things change. Hal Jordan. Yes, Green uh, looks like Mike. Huh? Green Lantern. Green Lantern is correct. <laughs> Wade Wilson. Uh, yeah, looks like Alan again. Deadpool. Deadpool is correct. <laughs> Selena Kyle. Looks like Alan again. Catwoman. That is Catwoman. <laughs> You should be worried. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jonathan Osterman. Jonathan oh, that's Osterman. The, um, <laughs> okay. Out to the audience it is. Dr. Thank Manhattan. You. Well oh, done. Thank you, yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Barbara Gordon. Yes. Oracle or Batgirl? Very good. I, I like how you got them both. He's good. Very good. Well done. Benjamin Grimm. Yes. The thing. Yes, the thing is correct. Aurora Monroe. Uh, yes, Mike. Storm. That's correct. Okay, that's a funny sound. That means something's going to happen. We've finished our first round. And uh, I have some great news for Cody. The pressure is over. You burned hot. You burned bright. And now get the hell off our show. No, no, you're okay. Stay tight right there. Even though that young man has to go, we're not going anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. 
We are now down to three contestants in the hunt for the ultimate fan. Questions are now worth 20 points. Get your hands on those buzzers. Second round questions, here we go. According to the comics, Ultron was created by Dr. Henry, Wait, what the hell? Uh, Alan. Dr. Henry Pym. What's that? Henry Pym, Ant-Man. Okay, I'm glad you said the last part because that's what we were getting at. You're almost too prematurely a, yeah. a, a votulation there. Yeah. <laughs> it, Excited. It, it wound man. up saying, Excited. what superhero did he become? Yeah. Very good. X-Men antagonist uh, Magneto has the power to manipulate metal. What does his helmet have the power to do? Uh, yes, Mike. Block psychic uh, tele uh, uh, tele. Telepathy. Hey. <laughs> okay, I think they think that's good. <laughs> that was uh, a little weird, but we'll, we'll give you that one. I'm not going to say what it really is, because you see how badly he botched that up. No, it's fine. Very good. I was getting there. The mask used by Michael Myers in the Halloween films was created using a rubber novelty mask depicting what real life actor? Yes, William yes. Shatner. William Shatner's right. how he feels about that. You think Shatner's flattered? That's me. That's my face. <laughs> Shatner. They all love me. <laughs> Just kidding with you, Bill. He's going to beat me up in the green room. He's here, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, who is Michael Myers' first victim? Yes. His sister. That's correct. How tragic. <laughs> Family tragedy. <laughs> this town, now help me with this pronunciation, Tatooine? Did I get that right? Thank you for validating that. This town is described by Obi-Wan Kenobi as a wretched hive of scum and villainy. What is the name of the town? Yes, Alan. Mos Eisley. Yes, you, that's correct. I wouldn't have known that if there was a gun to my head. Very good. Alan's ripping it up over there. Justin, I think we got a... Suck it up, just a little bit here now. A little focus. Maybe a cup of coffee. True or false? Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was inspired by a real life killer and body snatcher. Uh, yes, Mike. True. And who was it? Who was it? No idea. <laughs> Let's ask the judges. Eddie. Oh, you're not the judges. <laughs> I got other judges. What do you say, judges? Well, that didn't sound like a positive. Mm. You can't tell me who the guy was. You can't tell me who the guy was. Ed Bean. Is that what said? Uh, say the name again. Ed Bean? No, 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 no. I wish I, I know, could Bruce. just come right over there and help you with one little letter, but I can't. That would be cheating. Dean. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we're not going to play this game all okay, day. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, um, can anybody else try it? Ned? Me? <laughs> no, that's not correct Damn. either. Anybody? Anybody else? Ed Beam. We're done with that game. <laughs> Give us the name, please, people. Ed Beam. Look how many people knew that. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. Was murder. And it's G, okay? Okay. G, Ed Gain. No pain, no gain. Gain, lots of pain. Anyway, his name was Ed Gain, who also inspired the characters of Norman Bates in Psycho and Buffalo Bill in The Silence of the Lambs. So he was a sweetheart, this guy. <laughs> in what comic series will you find the evil Parallax? Uh, yes, Alan. Green Lantern. That's correct, Amundo. He's ripping it up over there. The Jigsaw Killer in the Saw films inflicts a lot of damage, but he's got a couple of problems of his own. Name either the two health issues that Jigsaw has. Uh, yes, Alan? Brain tumor. Brain tumor is correct. Any, any wing at the other one? Uh, couldn't tell you on this Ah, oh, just a little colon cancer, no big deal. <laughs> All right, very good. The guy who directed the recent remake of the original Halloween is a rocker with a pretty good horror movie name himself. Name him. Yes, Mike. Rob Zombie. That's correct. Well done. All right. Mike is staying in the hunt. 
Justin is fading away. In David Fincher's landmark serial killer movie, Seven, I saw it six times. <laughs> because it's such a cheerful movie. <clears throat> in his movie that I saw six times, Brad Pitt really isn't happy about what's in the box. So what, what is in the box? Yes, Mike. His wife's head. That's correct. Gwyneth Paltrow's head or his wife's head. Well done. OK. Now it is time for you to face your final speed round, which will determine which two of you will face off in our final confrontation. Questions are worth 30 points. And our category is weapons of choice. I will name an iconic movie killer, and you tell me the weapon that they are most known for using. You got 90 seconds, so as Lizzie Borden would say, chop, chop. <laughs> All right, here we go. Speed round, number two. What did Leatherface use? Yes. Chainsaw. Chainsaw is correct. Uh, Freddy Krueger. Mm, yes, Justin. Razor edge glove. Yeah, knives, fingers, razor edge glove. Welcome back to the game. Thank you. Nicely done. Good time to start getting points. The Candyman. Uh, yes, Alan. Uh, flies, I think. I'm oh, sorry, flies. sir. That's incorrect. Yeah. Rarely incorrect. Uh, yes, Justin. Is that a crowbar? I'm sorry, no. No. <gasps> nope. Anybody else? OK, to the, the gallery. Oh. A hook. A hook hand, correct. Sort of like Ash. Yeah. Ooh. What did the tall man use? Oh. Tall man from Phantasm. Yes. Is that the one with the little, uh, the balls with the little razors on them? <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Ball with the razors on them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, they're otherwise known as spheres, but yeah, they're the little balls with the razors on them. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. Uh, yes, Alan. Machete. Machete's correct. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Pinhead. Yes, Al. Uh, he was a demon. <laughs> Hellfire. You got to be careful when you get so casual hitting that button. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes you're going to get sent out to dry. Yeah, I just put myself out there. Yep, but you know, nice try. Anybody else uh, with a pinhead? Does that mean we're done? Uh -huh. With that round. All right. <laughs> we're done with that speed round. And I'm, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to read the rest of that. Okay, now we're gonna look at the scores here, and I'm thinking it's time we said goodbye to our friend Justin. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you very much. Yes, Justin is leaving, but don't go anywhere, because we'll be right back after this. You know, there comes a point in every great rivalry where someone's got to win and someone's got to walk away in disbelief that they screwed up so badly. It's going to be one or the other. The time is now for you two because you're about to have the final confrontation. Here's how it works. Each of you will answer five questions in the category of your choice. A right answer will get you two points, the wrong answer or no answer at all will give your opponent the chance to steal the question for one point. So, uh, first place, uh, I believe, Alan, you were, you had the most points, okay. correct? I believe so. So you get to pick your category first. Sweet. You get to pick your, so you got all zombies, fast and slow, you're a witch girl, and Twilight, Serling style. <laughs> Like Twilight Zone, Rod Serling. Oh, style. okay. Come on, <laughs> keep with me here. Gotcha. Um, choose wisely because I think Mike's got his game face on. Zombies, all zombies. Zombies. You want zombies? Very good. So now, uh, Mike, because you were number two, you get to pick now, and you get to go first. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have left. You're a witch girl and Twilight Serling style. Yeah, I'm going to go Twilight. Twilight Zone. Yeah, Twilight. Rod Serling style, though. Yeah, yeah OK, I'll give you that one. OK, we're, gonna do, we're doing Twilight. So you're going first. You're it. You're up. Five questions. All right. After curing most of the world's woes, 
The alien race known as the Canamits present mankind with a book called To Serve Man. In what section of the bookstore would you find that book? In the cooking section. Excellent, nicely done, the cooking section. Now you're gonna find real soon how valuable these points are. You only have two points, but you could still kick his ass. Okay. I don't know. And you can still lose badly. Anyway, but I digress. What sci-fi icon played a passenger desperately trying to warn a plane full of disbelieving passengers and crew about a gremlin on the wing in nightmare at 20,000 feet? John Lithgow? I'm sorry, you don't oh, anybody oh. say anything. Do you know, sir? William Shatner. William Shatner's correct. So, you see what just happened? You stole one, so you only get one point, but it's still close, it's two to one. William Shatner, there's something on the wing of the plane. <laughs> Listen to me, people, it's out there. I could go on, no, that's all right. That's okay, don't. William Shatner, <laughs> here we go now, continuing on. Billy Moomy played a six-year-old who could wish people away if he didn't like them in the classic episode, It's a Good Life. What science fiction series is he best known for starring in? Billy Moomy. It's for older guys like me would know this. Wow. Uh, you think they're going to be easier when you get a little further into the game? <laughs> no. Give it your best shot. Billy Moomy. Sci-fi series, huh? You're going to kick yourself when you hear the answer. Really? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. OK, throw it over to, my, to uh, Alan. Uh, I want to say it's a wonder robot. Um, Danger Will Robinson. Uh, can't I can't, name I can't series, give right? you any hints. I know. I, know. I can't. Think of the name of it. Okay, I think we're gonna have to throw it out. Lost in space. I was right, sir. Yes, in lost mm -hmm. in space. In the episode, The Gift, Mexican villagers kill a benevolent alien who comes bearing an extraordinary present for all mankind, destroying the present along with him. What is it? What is it? The episode, The Gift. I don't know, cure for cancer. That's correct. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. No, no. Yes. I got lucky. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was one hell of a hail mary guess. <laughs> but you know, you did it. Okay. Now this is the last question okay. for you for your opportunity to, to answer first. Predating Chucky by decades, the title character. In the Living Doll episode, terrorizes Telly Savalas, modeled on Chatty Cathy. What was the evil doll's name? It's not Chatty Cathy, it's. I think you're stumped. Mm -hmm. Alan? Uh, I can't even get venture a guess on that one. No problem. Anybody out here? Talky Tina. Talky Tina. Very good. Well done, audience. Okay. <laughs> At the end of that, Mike has four, Alan has one. Okay, now we're going to, I believe it was all zombies, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is you this time. Here we go. Bill Murray cameoed in this 2009 humorous take on the apocalypse of the undead, which starred Jesse Eisenberg as an unlikely survivor. Name that. Zombieland. That's correct. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> It's now four to three. Good, you're closing that gap. How quickly things change, Mike. Mm -hmm. Following the most logical progression, what would be the title for a second as yet unmade sequel to the 2002 Danny Boyle film featuring zombies capable of running through a plague devastated United Kingdom? Hmm. What would be the title? No, it's 28 days, 28 months later. That is correct, well done. Yeah. Well done. You have officially taken the lead back. Well done. We have three more questions to decide your fate. In other words, I can blow them out of the water? You can win. Sweet. And you can lose. Damn. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants. What is the name of the bar that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost decide to seek refuge in during the zombie outbreak in Shaun of the Dead? The name of the bar. 
Oh, it's not The World's End. That's the name of the movie. I'm glad you didn't say it like that. <laughs> the World's you, End? You, no, I'm... No. Go ahead. Uh, I, uh, that the was name of guess. the bar. That was my guess. The okay, end. any any guess, Mike? Krusty Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a great name for a bar, mm -hmm. just not this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winchester. Winchester, thank you. How, do you hear how many people said that? Yeah, a lot. I love I'm, that I'm movie too. for all of us yeah. up here. Okay, here's a toss up. Which hand did Merle cut off to escape the rooftop zombies in season one of The Walking Dead? His left or his right? The right. That's correct. Not a boom. Might as well go all the way here. In the opening scene of George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, Johnny and Barbara are at the cemetery to lay flowers on a grave. Whose grave is it? Johnny's, uh, Barbara's mother. Their mother, that's correct. Well done, you have a total of nine. Mike has four. Alan, come here please, come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet the last fan, Sandy! This is, I want you to know, this is one classy show. We're giving this guy money. We don't even know how much money we're, we're gonna give it to this guy, and he's gonna like it, and he's gonna spend money on a lot of Bruce Campbell movies. I think that's yes, a great idea. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Last fan standing.